Hey everyone, Gannett here from Lucid Pen, and today I'm going to show you how to make these little buttons um, for your planner or scrapbooking. Um, as you can see, we have a nice circle here, and I know the Procreate doesn't come with shapes, so I've made this um, circle stamp for you guys so that we can make this um, process even easier. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and go ahead and erase these layers and we'll go ahead and hide our button so we can go ahead and start a new one. Um, I am using this um, circle stamp at 28%. If you were to max it out, you would cover the entire page literally in one color. Um, and you can also go very small with it. So this is gonna be very useful for you guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and select just any color. We'll do whatever color you want. If you wanna leave your button just a simple color, or if you wanna add a picture, I usually just get something that's gonna match my picture to work with. Um, so we'll just go ahead and stamp a circle anywhere around the middle. And we're gonna go ahead and duplicate this layer a couple of times. Uh, this bottom one, let's go ahead and hide those. This bottom one right here is gonna be black. This is gonna be our drop shadow. Uh, this one is going to be our uh, color layer. So we'll leave that one the way it is. This is gonna be a highlight. So we'll make this one white. And this one here is going to be uh, black. That's gonna be uh, the shadow for the top part of the button. So we're, we're gonna go ahead and work with um, the color layer and this white layer. And what I'm gonna do is hide my background so you can actually see the white and see what is going on. So we'll go ahead and select the white and we'll take our selection tool. And I like my highlights to come from the top left corner. That's where I imagine my light source is always coming from. So that's usually how I, I work. And what we're, gonna, what we're going to do is move this up towards the top left, uh, leaving a bit of a crescent shape. You'll be able to see the crescent shape of the blue. When you cut this out, you're gonna have the complete opposite for the white that you're seeing right now on the blue. So we'll go ahead and unselect that, it looks good. We'll select this layer and we will go ahead and clear that one. And as you can see, it cut everything that was on top of the circle out and it just left us with a nice little crescent moon. So we're gonna bring that in, that's gonna be our highlight. And you'll wanna go ahead and leave it just about the very edge of that circle. And we'll go ahead and go to our, sh our, our blur and adjust it, play around with it until you get to a point where you're comfortable with it, where you like it, where it's starting to look like a, a button with some highlight to you in the corner. That's good. And you can always move it just a little bit. There we go, that's perfect. Now what we're gonna do is go back to our color layer and what we want to select now where we're trying to crop out is what's on the outside, not what's landing inside the circle. So we're gonna do the opposite as before. Instead of selecting um, the color layer, we're gonna select outside of it and we're gonna go ahead and clear that. So now it has, it's cleaned everything up around the outside and it's left us with a nice um, uh, highlight on that corner. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing, but this is gonna be our shadow. So we're gonna move this the opposite direction that we did for the white. So now we're gonna move this one to the bottom right. That's good. And we're gonna do the same thing. Go back to our color, go ahead and select it go to the black and clear it. So now we're left with the crescent on this side and we're gonna go ahead and move this in to where we want it. If you need to go ahead and take the magnetics off just so you can get it right in place. And we'll go to shadows, I mean blurs, and we'll create a shadow for down here. And I think that's good. Focus on the shape of the shadow and not so much of the color intensity of it um, because you can always lighten it up a little bit. Um, right here we can just change the opacity of that if it's too dark. Okay, and I think that's good. And I'm gonna go ahead and just move it out just a little bit. There we go, that's perfect. Now we're gonna go ahead and 
remove all the excess from the outside. So we'll go ahead and select this layer again and we'll go to this one and clear it. Oops, that was the wrong side. Wrong selection. We're gonna select the layer, but we're going to select the outside of the layer because that's what we're trying to get rid of this time and clear it. There we go. So now we have starting to look like a button. Now all we need to do is the drop shadow for our button. So it actually looks like it's sitting on the page. Even if it's on there, it always has a tiny little drop shadow to make it look realistic. So we'll go ahead and move it out just a little bit towards the bottom right hand side and we'll go ahead and blur. And I think that's good. I like that. And if you, again, if you need to just move it a little bit, adjust it, just give it a nice little hairline of a shadow. And I'm gonna go ahead and move this one too because I feel like there's a little bit of white showing. So I'm just gonna move it just a smidget. There we go. Perfect. So now the last thing we need to do is you can either leave it like this, uh, you can fill it up with some texture, or we can fill it up with a picture. Um, what I'm actually gonna do is add a picture to this. So I'm gonna go to my photos and we're gonna insert little Ozzy here in his winter outfit. Okay, we'll just move this down a little bit. Get it right to where you like. And we'll go back to our color layer. We're going to select that and we're gonna go to this, to the image, and we're just gonna mask it. And that is pretty much it, unselect. And as you can see, I have a little bit of a white showing from this black layer. So let me see if I can go ahead and move that a little bit. There we go, perfect. Now you can go ahead and just merge these layers if you like, or save this um, as a button template, and you can always just come back and switch up the images, switch up the colors, because that's all you have to do. If you wanted to change this button to pink, we can do that. It's now a pink button. So one last little thing that I wanted to add, um, and let me go back to the images, or to the Aussie image. Um, when you're resizing or when you're working with Procreate, you always want to make sure that you make your stickers and your images as large as you possibly can. Um, because once this is saved, you will only be able to size it down. Uh, you can't really size up a raster image. A raster image is something that is, once the images are flattened, there is no resizing it. Um, it is stuck in that size permanently. So you can only scale it down and it'll still look fine. But if you try to scale up or resize it, make it larger, you're going to lose the image quality. You start getting pixelated. Um, so here, let me show you an example. And we'll just go ahead and squish this button. And I'm gonna go ahead and just resize this real quick, make it a tiny button how I would use it probably in my planner. If I were to make this button in this size and save it like this, when you try to resize it, enlarge it, you completely lose, as you can see, Ozzy's face has now just become really, really blurry. Um, so see the difference between this image and how it is here, and once I resize it. So this is something you definitely want to avoid. So when working with Procreate, Always try to make sure that you have um, a large canvas. Make sure that you're using 300 DPI so that you get the best quality image because you can always shrink your stickers down, but you can't really make them bigger than what you originally created them. So hopefully this little tip helps you guys. That is it. Um, make sure that you head over to the Facebook group, Lucid Pen Creatives, um, for your free circle stamp and please subscribe so that you can get notices for more tutorials to come. Bye.